Hey guys, welcome back to the new tutorial series of Android Studio. In this series, we are going to create an application in which we will use MySQL database. So for that, from the browser, search for the XAMPP and install the XAMPP for the Windows, Linux or Mac. Okay, I am going. I am using Windows, so I will install it for Windows. After completing installation, start this XAMPP control panel and from that start this Apache and MySQL actions. And from that click on admin to open the PHP My Admin. So from PHP My here we will create the database. So before creating database, let's create the basic main activity over here. Okay, so remove this text view. So first of all, convert this constant layout to linear layout. And remove this text and insert the button give height and width of width of match parent and height of web content give id to this button id id of insert button okay and uh, give text to this button insert okay now add another button give width of match parent height of web content give id of update record update button give text of update okay now add button show button show record and delete button to delete the record okay and uh, here give orientation of a vertical okay so our design is ready okay and uh, now let's declare a button over here private button insert update delete and show record okay now insert is equal to find view by id r dot id dot insert button update is equal to find view by id r dot id dot update button delete is equal to find view by id r dot id dot delete button and same for show record find view by id r dot id dot 
show button okay now implement the on click listener for all this button insert dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener okay and create the same for update delete and so insert update so delete okay so insert this of uh, all buttons we will navigate to the next screen so for that intent i is equal to new intent main activity dot this comma insert activity dot class start activity i okay and we will call all these okay so for update we will call update activity for show record we will call show record activity and for delete we will call delete activity so it is showing error because we have not created this activity so right click on this folder new activity and select empty activity and give the name of insert activity and enter so the insert activity is created like that create activity for updates for record and delete so in the next video we will write code inside this insert activity to insert the data into the database so see you guys in the next video please like share and don't forget to subscribe clueless tech